With Rosanna's hair, we did the half up and half down look, which you just finished now. Like I was saying to you earlier, I wanted to try and get two looks out of this, out of this style, which is the half up and half down, and the other is actually a full up style as well. So if you get to the point where you're midway through your, your, your bridal hair, and the bride actually says, do you know what, I've changed my mind now, I think I'm gonna want my hair up now, I don't want all this down, because it may depend on the dress. So again, there's no need to panic as a hairdresser, you think you've done half the work already, you've taken the front sections up, you've taken the crown up, and then you can say, yeah, no problem, let's just start to take these back sections up. So I'll just spin the chair around, and then we'll start. So really, like I was doing earlier, creating this kind of very loose, nice kind of knot effect in the hair, we're just gonna take the back sections up. Scan that little bit of hairspray. I'm just gonna work these sections through. So some of those loose sections you can hide away. And I start to put it up. So again, as before, make sure the thumb's back on the head and just start to put your curvy grips in. Again there. Just turn this around slightly. Just get a little bit of hairspray. Thumb back on the head, got your curvy grip, just place it into the scalp again. Then you can take two sections of hair, get the hairspray again just to calm down your little flyaway pieces. Again there, the hairspray. And then you can just rope the hair over. Do that little bit of parting that you were saying, and then you can just kind of roll that in. You can see how quickly this has gone up, really. So from your half up and half down, it doesn't take really that long. So again, what I was saying to you about wedding hair and hair up is all about thinking on your feet. So what you don't want to do is if, if your client says to you, no, I'm not quite sure about the half up and half down, don't start to take down everything you've done before. You can kind of just start to adjust it. Because most of the time, she'll oh, actually quite like the front and the top, but it's just I can't be doing all this hair around the sides. So again, you can just start to kind of just get rid of the length by pinning it up then. Again, got a cushion brush that we did before, just on these sides, just to smooth some of these sections out. Some hairspray. Section, section. So again, I've got the excess, so where I've pinned, you can see you can see the grips there. So again, you can just hide that gap. OK, 
Again, the front section. This is important just to get this little bit smoother here, just where the finer hair is. Again, we've got the cushion brush. So again, I'm just going to pin that back up into the hair. And there we have it, our final hair up. So again, we just, um, again, once again, just give you an overall view of Rosanna's hair. So we went from the half up and half down to um, putting all the hair, well, then going to kind of half up, um, the one side up then, to give you like a, a shape through here. And then this is the full kind of hair up again, but it's, again, just nice and soft, really. You know, nothing too contrived. Again, this will go with your nice kind of floaty, romantic, fairy tale wedding look. So again, your bride's happy because, again, you can probably see the cleanness of the neckline now. So again, it'll all very much to depend on the dress whether you want hair down or hair to one side or the hair up on that one.